All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, Rash, that will honest our elders and apostles of great meals and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to Akhmi that are pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. And today, I just want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it Most of Our People Must Be Destroyed and Rewired. All right, because at the end of the day, Jake is just nothing but a home born slave, man. All right, and hey, Jake is you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, you just love to live van uh, a vain, a vain life. All right, niggas like to stand on the block, smoke weed all day, drink all day, holla at hoes all day. Women want to shake their ass, you know, all up in the goddamn, all, uh, uh, all in the car, outside the car, at the club, at the grocery store, whatever it is, man. Just just vanity Just a hey, wickedness Anything that Esau pushes for you You people want to do Alright Whether it be hey, Inside of the uh, uh, The industry Alright You go in these corporate jobs You are in a suit and a tie You thinking that you better than Hey You do better than everybody else on the planet Alright Cause you're working for Esau You're a lap You're a lap dog to Esau Eat them Our people are nothing but home born slaves Man They don't have a rulership mentality They got a a, a slave a slave you know a slave mentality to stay at the bottom be at the bottom man and they don't want to see their people make it out of here they think america is the end all be all it's, no, it's nothing greater than america going back to where they originally came from is not even in their mind man they love what their mass has provided for them and hey, they're gonna stay here hey they're gonna stay here until they be destroyed so any further ado i'm gonna jump into it because hey, we're supposed to think like kings, like rulers. I want it to be above all nations on the planet Earth. Hey, before I grab this, because that's what the Lord said that we are. The Lord set us up to be greater than everyone. He gave, he gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, this is a wise and understanding people. All right, this is through our law, statutes, and commandments where we will be called a wise and understanding people. But our people have threw that off. Say we will not walk therein We don't care about what y'all got to say We don't care about the prophets We don't care about the Lord Only thing we want is Esau eat them This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6 It says for thou art in holy people Unto Yahweh thy power Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be A special people unto himself Above all people That are upon the face of the earth So all people man We are greater than all people Above all people that are on the face of the earth And this is Hey, if we keep the law, statutes, and commandments But if we don't Hey, our people are going to be slaves We're going to be at the bottom But that should not be your mindset Your mindset should be Hey, man Hey, I want to be back to my first estate I want to be back at the top I want to be as When King David was ruling When King Solomon was ruling Alright, taking down these heathen nations Destroying these heathen nations Putting them in subjection onto us And us being the rulers Us being the kings, man Us issuing out the money Hey, nigga, I don't want to go get no fucking paycheck, bro I want to be the one issuing out the paycheck. Hey, like the uh, the the elder the elder Yaki says, you know I can't remember uh, how, how he says it, man. But hey, he hey, you you want to be the one passing out the check. You don't want to be the one receiving the check, man. You want to be the king. You want to be the ruler. And this is what Yahweh Shai has a hey, given us. All right, rulership. If we keep His word and His commandments until the very end, man, that's the mindset you, that you should have. But this is Jeremiah two and eleven. It says half a nation. Half a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods. But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. All right, serving these heathen nations do not profit you. Being at the bottom does not profit you. Want to be a nigga on the block does not profit you, man. It only brings you death and destruction. And this is why people must be rewired and they must die. It says, but astonished, O ye heavens, uh, at, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, said Yahweh. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and healed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. So you forsook your how about Shemal Shai, right? Your true life, everything that, that, that can, everything that you want can be given to you. Right? You did all that just to be serving a false god, to go into a, a way of captivity, to be a slave, to be treated like nothing but garbage. All right, by these heathen nations. It's a scripture that says in uh, the book of Isaiah that um, our people laid down and the nations walked over them, you know, walk, walked over them. 
Uh, let me see if I can find it. Hmm, let's see. I can't remember exactly how it's worded. But that's the mindset that... That's the mindset that two-thirds of our nation has. Y'all better than us. We're nothing. Niggas want to be like Esau, man. A nigga think when a soon attack is, is, the, is, the way, is the way of life. Is the way to go. Being in the industry. Uh, let me see... Uh, bear with me. I think it's like go over. Let's see. And it was like fifty. Let's see. Not in that. Let me look it up on this phone. Bear with me, I can. Well, when I just I just posted inside the um, the comment section. I'm just go back. But that's the spirit that our people have on them. This is uh, Jeremiah 2 and 14. It says, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? And our people are supposed to be kings, princesses, princes, rulers, man. All right, gods. We are not supposed to be mortal men. Or at the bottom of the bottom. Serving, serving these heathen nations, man. And having the mindset to want to stay in that position. No, we're supposed to be begging Yahweh Shemal Shah to come back. To save us. From these plagues that he has put us uh, under, man. Because these are plagues. This is a punishment. To be under your, to be uh, under a heathen nation is a is a is a damn punishment. Have them to follow their laws, their their ways of life, right? Or you be a exile, look, looked at as a weirdo, man, crazy. And these heathen nations are supposed to follow our ways, man. But our people want to be slaves. Israel is a homeborn slave, man. They have a mindset to hey, just be just be a a, a nigga. They don't want to be a god. They don't want to rule. Are you talk to a nigga and ask him, hey man, you do you want to have slaves? He look at you like you fucking crazy. Hey man, you ask, you ask any one of us uh, in this truth, do we want to have slaves? Do, man, you you ain't even gonna be able to finish that word, man. We're gonna say yes. Of course, con. Of con, we wanna have slaves, man. We wanna be rulers, we wanna be gods. That's what Yahweh Shap uh, uh promised us. All right, and Luke, the uh, ninth, uh, no, uh, Matthew is the 19th chapter. So this is wisdom of Solomon. 14 and 22 it says moreover this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of Yahweh but whereas they lived in a great war of ignorance our people love the ignorance they love to not know who they are they love to be called Mexican Hispanic Dominican a, a Egypt uh, uh, Egyptian hey I, 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 I niggas love that shit man all right they think that that's being that's that's the that's a creme de la creme you the best of the best but nigga, you ain't nothing but a damn nigga. And you're going to be destroyed by the Lord. And then your mind is going to be re re rewired. Then you're going to think correctly. You're going to think the way an Israelite should think. All right? To want to have these laws, statutes, commandments on your mind 24-7 to be a God. To rule over these heathen nations and put them in order, in subjection to you and your will. Hey, the will of Yahweh Hashem al Shai. It says, those so great plagues... Call they peace so our people look at all these things surrounding them as peace all right you being able to go to the corner store get some goddamn uh gummy worms that got pork in them some fucking chips that got red 40 in it that damn it kills kills you man slowly but surely kills you honey buns that slowly but surely kill you backwoods that kill you our people look at this shit as peace all right, nigga getting gunned down the streets every day is peace, man. All with it. That's just the hood, man. Niggas die every day. It is what it is. You know? And this is why people must be destroyed. Their minds must be rewired. And that's why the Lord has to kill the majority of his nation. Zechariah 13 and 8 says that it shall come to pass that in, that in all the land here in Babylon the Great in America, all you people will be 
you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that don't want to come back to the Lord, right? You will be horribly killed by Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, horribly here in, here in, in, in what's known as America, Babylon and Great in the Scriptures, man. Because people think that this place is never going to be touched, nothing is ever going to happen here. You're just going to be able to live a delicate, de delicately forever. Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> but hey, the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night when you least suspect it. When you niggas and y'all goddamn Ethica fucking uh, Fruit Loop draws and shit, Lord go kicking your day. The, the Lord go have Esau kicking your doors. Hey, drag you out, drag your little kids out, stump y'all out, man. Cut you up, gun you down, whatever it is. Hey, we dealing with the damn devil, man. If he wants to, he can round you up, torment you. Hey, experiment on you. We, hey, this dude is a mad scientist. He's going to do some very weird shit to you Israelites, man. And it's all going to be through the hand of Yahweh Shai. Hey, Jeremiah 11 and 11. Jeremiah 11 and verse 11. It says, Therefore, thus said Yahweh. And why is this happening? Because you want to serve other gods. Verse 10, it says, They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods who served them, the house of Israel, and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. So hey, this is the whole nation, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. All of y'all, man, want to serve other gods, want to be under another way. And that's two-thirds of you, which is majority of our nation. So it says, therefore, thus said Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which is a bad time, which they shall not be able to escape. And that bad time that's coming is Jacob's trouble. All right, time like never before since there was a nation. So it's going to be death like never before, torments like never before. Strange apparitions are going to come out and torment you people. Newly created beasts, spirits of vengeance, all these things will be unleashed on you, man. A, a, the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. You're going to know that it, that, that it came from the Lord, man. It's going to be undeniable. It says, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them because the Lord is crying to you right now, man. What you do? Snatch away the shoulder, as it says in Zechariah 7. Snatch away the shoulders. Don't want to serve the Lord. You don't want to be under his will. <laughs> so the Lord is just the Lord is just gonna uh, uh, show you what it show you what it show show you what it feels like to not serve him. To not a uh, want wanna wanna be his people and live a life in wickedness. Live a hedonistic life. Because this is the judgment for the heathen. And since you want to be the heathen, alright, guess what? You're gonna get a heathen's judgment. So this is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two parts are going to die. Two thirds of the whole, the whole nation of Israel is going to be destroyed, man. In, in, in a horrible, tormentous way. And hey, the end all be all uh, of your judgment is ICBM nuclear missile fire. People don't believe that this that this land, America, is gonna be destroyed because hey, Jake is a is a fucking slave, man. They need to be rewired. They don't want this place to go. They don't think America is ever gonna be destroyed. They don't think that anything is ever gonna happen for their wickedness that they're doing. But it is. It's prophesied, man. The words of the Lord are faithful and true. There is no lie of the truth. It's all gonna come to pass. It says, but the third shall be left therein, and, and the one third. Is going to be brought through that fire. They're going to be refined. They're going to be made perfect. But as for the rest of you, you're going to be destroyed. All right. The Lord is only going to save a very small remnant, which is his elect. Everyone else is done for because the elect are the only ones that are going to praise his holy name, according to Sirach 17 and verse 10. But as for the rest of our nation, this is them. Isaiah 30 and 8 says, Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. So the Lord is giving us, giving us the, the heads up uh, of what this nation is about. How this nation moves. So it says this, it says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. So the Lord is telling us right now, they're not going to hear you, man. Hey, 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 the Lord said they, they wouldn't even hear me in the book of Ezekiel. They ain't going to hear, they ain't going to hear our words. They ain't going to hear nothing, man. Because they don't want to hear the laws of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. They want to hear what, what, what's, the, what's the next Lil Dirk album that's coming out. You know, hey, which, which one of their idols done died this damn week? PNB Rock. You know, the Lord judged that nigga, man. Because hey, he, he, he's, he's pushing wickedness. 
You ain't trying to hear the law of the Lord. You ain't trying to hear the law of the Lord. Guess what? You're going to die, man. The Lord, hey, hey, at the end of the day, we made a covenant with Yahweh Shema Shah. You made a covenant with the Lord. This is hey, you this is on your own here, man. You the ones that said, yeah, yo, hey, we, we want to make this covenant. You made the covenant with the Lord. Now you have to live your life according to the covenant. And if you don't, you will be put to death. Uh let me see. Okay, Second Chronicles third, Second Chronicles fifteen and verse twelve. It says, "And they enter into a covenant to seek Yahweh power of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul, that whosoever would not seek Yahweh power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman." So, if you're not keeping these law statutes, law statutes and commandments, if you're not seeking after Yahweh Shemal Shai, which this is what we should be doing in these very last days, seeking the Lord ten times more, trying to get back into His good graces, you are going to perish in a horrible fashion, man. Because the Lord said that you're going to dwell in torments. Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. This is Isaiah 30 and 10. It says, We we'll say to the seers, which is us, the prophets, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Prophet, speak unto us smooth things Prophesy deceit And this is why they go to the Christian church Because they want to be able to get that, that prosperity doctrine That feel good doctrine Oh yeah, do what you want to do Live your life, come as you are God love you God don't love you if you're doing whatever the hell you want to do God loves you if you're keeping his commandments <laughs> Lord said that he only loves those That dwell with wisdom Point blank period man If you're not dwelling with wisdom if you're not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, the Lord does not care about you. The Lord does not love you, man. That's what our people want to hear. They, they want to hear the lies. But we're here to tell you the truth. We're not going to hold our tongues. We're not going to spare your feelings. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. All right, this is the truth, man. It's either you're going to get it or you're not. And hey, it's, hey, hey, it's, it's, it's best that you just don't get it, man, because you, you you people just got to be destroyed. Because hey, a lot of our people are just, are just wicked. They surpass the deeds of the wicked. They're just evil. It gotta go. Isaiah 30 and 11. It says, Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. They don't want nothing to do with us, they don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Bashima Al Shai. Says, Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because he despised this word and trust in oppression. This is what our people trust in. They trust in oppression. They have a slave mentality, a slave mindset. You are of your father, the devil, man. They don't want to serve the Lord. They don't want to get right. <laughs> and they trust in oppression. They trust in what Esau can provide for them. But woe unto you for that mindset, man. Woe unto you. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Hey, you going down to Egypt for help? Woe to you. Death and destruction. And modern day Egypt is here in America. You're going down to Esau, running down to him to go take that jump shot. Hey, they say, hey, you, hey, you listen to what he's telling you to do. Throw on an M-A-S-K. Throw that on your face. You know. Be protected. Drive around with it on. That's the hey, they, they, they listen to whatever Esau tells them. To, ever tell, what, whatever Esau tells them to do, they do it, man. They just jump and do the shit. Esau put that fear up in their ass. They jump and do it. They, they don't have no fear for the Lord. They got no fear for you. How about Shemal Shah? But they fear that damn devil. They fear Esau. That's why the Lord said, woe to you. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen because they are very strong. And they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his word. <laughs> the Lord is going to bring evil on you niggas, man. But will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. So you people think Esau is a God and he's going to be destroyed. Right along with y'all, man. He's going to fall right along with y'all. His kingdom is falling right before his eyes. It's nothing that he can do. Verse 3, it says, Now the Egyptians are men. They are men and not God. And their horses flesh and not spirit. When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that help it shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall all shall, shall fall down, and all shall fail together. So all of you are going to fail. 
All of you, man. All right, you want to continue this kingdom, push this place on, it's all going to come to naught. Because this is the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. His will is going to stand. Not man's, all right? Not man's will, but the will of the Lord. Isaiah 30 and verse 13. Uh, no, uh, 12 says, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, they trust in the wickedness of this place, and stay thereon. All right, Esau tell you that you could be a goddamn mo. All right, you can be whatever, whatever, whatever gender you want to be. You can be it. They trust in that. They look, they look at that as the, as the way of life, <laughs> the benefits of life, the benefits of America. That is nothing but the benefits of death, man. Death. Hey, let me let me let me read this. You niggas just gotta go, man. You niggas gotta go. This is Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. It says, "Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed." So you despise the word of Yahweh Shmuel Shah. You despise his prophets. You're gonna be destroyed by the Lord, man. But he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. You're gonna be rewarded with everlasting life. You're gonna be rewarded with kingship. Alright, for you men that are in this truth, serving your Hawaii Shemal Shah, pushing his word. Alright, you, you 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 men also that are hey, the helps to the prophets. You're gonna be kings, you're gonna be rulers, you women are gonna be princesses, you're gonna be wives to the kings uh, of, of these, you're gonna be wives to these uh, to these uh to these kings, man. These men that are warring for this truth. Alright, you're gonna be over these heathen, this these heathen women. Yeah, play your role, stay in your position, serve your Hawaii Shema the way that you serve the, the way that you're supposed to serve the Lord. Serve your man. Be in a subjection. We're all gonna get put in in, in, a, in a position that we deserve very soon, man. Very soon. But hey, two thirds of our people, hey, they they just they they just gotta go. Isaiah 30 and verse 13 it says, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Swelling out in a high wall, who is breaking coming suddenly at an instant. All right, so Jacob shoveling all hell, death and destruction, calamities, plagues, everything that you can name negative is going to come down upon you, Israelites, man. That are trusting in oppression and perverseness, trusting in the wickedness of this world. You're going to be cast down, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord is no joke, and these words are faithful and true. This is 2nd Ezra 9. And verse 9, it says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. And this is the way that your mind is going to be cleansed, man. You're going to be, hey, this, this is the way that you're, that you're going to have to get this understanding through the torments of the Lord, through the death, through the ICBM nuclear missile fire, the cleansing of your mind. All right, these, things are gonna, these things are actually going to benefit you. You're deaf. Right, if, you, if you can't get right one way, and the Lord will get you right the other way, man. This is the way that, that our people must uh, uh, This is the way that the Lord Must rewire and get our people right Because you're going to come back into the kingdom With a holy mindset, a righteous mindset That is going to be only With these law, statutes, and commandments That's going to be the only thing That's on your mind, righteousness man Not the shit that goes on in this place The folly that goes on in this place the, Just, 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 the, just the, the, the The shit that don't matter Like hey, niggas, niggas love football season all right, nigga, uh, bear up his whole car, bear up his whole crib, man. But he ain't got not a goddamn thought of the Lord on his mind. Niggas got fantasy football teams. Niggas got goddamn fantasy NBA teams and all this crazy shit. Niggas love 2K. Niggas die for 2K. <laughs> all right? It's just vanity. And that's why the Lord got to rewire you niggas, man. You're supposed to be wanting to be a king. You're supposed to be striving to, to, to be at the top. And this is the only way to strive to be at the top is to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, because you will abide forever, as it says in First John, the uh, second chapter. You want to, you should want to be immortal. You should want to be a god, man. But our people are cool with just being a blunt smoking, two K playing nigga. So this is Second Ezra nine and ten. It says, "For such as in their life have received benefits, you have received benefits from the Lord daily. All right, every day you niggas get benefits from Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. What do you?" Hey, hey, you you get you get to wake up and, and open your eyes in the morning, man. That's a benefit from the Lord. You get to eat. You get to go get some pussy or some. I right, have a have a little good day, man. Yeah, you get you get some extra money on your check. You find some money. Are right, you be down and out? And the Lord just have a hundred dollars blow blowing your way. 
There ain't, there ain't no coincidence. You don't just, yeah, you, you just picked that up and damn, man, damn, I, I got lucky, man. Shit, maybe I need to go play the lottery today. Yeah, maybe that, that's my horoscope. No, that's, that was Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the God of the, of the Holy Bible, the God of you Israelites, man. But what? You are a, you a, and have not known me. They have not known the Lord. They didn't think about Yahweh Bashim al Shai. They thought about that idol before they thought about the Lord, man. They ain't even seeking his true name. It says, and they have loathed my law. It says, and they have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. You people have liberty to get right. All right. The ability to, to, to do what's right. Serving Yahweh Bashim al Shai. It's not hard to serve the Lord. You can serve the Lord. Hey, these laws are not grievous, man. Yeah, the yoke of the Lord is, is light. Hey, all we got to do is put our flesh, flesh in subjection, fight daily. All right, it's a day-to-day -day battle. But hey, hey, you can do it, man. It's not hard to do. But our people loathe the law of the Lord. They ain't want to think about his commandments. Hey, they said, we will not walk therein. Hey, to the watchman, hey, hey, we will not hear you. We don't want to hear what you got to say. We're not going to walk therein. We don't care. We want to do what we want to do, man. It says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, Understood not, but despised it. So, hey, you got salvation at, 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 at your hand. All right, the Lord is like, come on, come on, I, I, I can save you. I'm going to save you from, from this hellhole that, that you're in, from these plagues that you're in. I'm going to save you from it. What? Man, no, we don't want to. No, nah, we good here. Shit, man, I, I, got, I got this game, man. I got this blunt. I got this, this adulterous ass woman here, man. I'm good, man. I got to fight with her every day, but I, I'm good, man. <laughs> yeah, these niggas, I, man, these niggas, hey. The same must know after death by pain. You just have to die. You just have to be destroyed, man. It's the best thing for you, for your mind to be cleansed, for your mind to be rewired, for you to know it, man, for you to have to have the understanding of righteousness. So this is the best thing for our people. So, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chak, Rosh, the one side, elders and apostles of great meals, and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to Akim that pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Wa a bob a ball. Alright, and hey, don't feel bad when these niggas start to get judged, man. Shalom.